Hi everybody. Uh, back again. I was going to, um, I just wanted to separate the actual record store day stuff from like the past uh, few thrift scores and things like that. And uh, so I'm back again with some of the thrift fun finds and a couple of other things. Um, I hope you ha are having a magical record store day. I hope you found everything on your list. It's just so much fun. I, I really, really love it. In fact, my mother, um, when she came for coffee this morning, she brought this article to me, Vinyl Has a Resurgence, and this um, features the guy who actually uh, started Record Store Day. I think he's from Bull Moose Records in Maine, and that was really a fun thing to read this morning. Very fun. All right. First up, I want to say I got some VCLT from the one and only DJ Trish. Very, very fun. <laughs> She's got a picture of herself here with a uh, beach house t-shirt and her Sutter Home white Zinfandel down here. Really, really fun. And this is a little bit of a different package from DJ Trish because it was 45s instead of uh, CD mixes, so that was really fun. She gave me Genesis, Second Home by the Sea. Oh, I just love this. It's so beautiful. And that's all. Isn't that great? I love Genesis. Chicago, We Can Stop the Hurtin' and Along Comes a Woman. Very fun. Uh, on the Mills Brothers, You Always Hurt the One You Love, classic, and Take Me Along on Dot... We're having The Mood by Glenn Miller, classic again, and Little Brown Jug. And then we have um, Les Compagnons of La Chanson, The Friends of Song in French. <laughs> Very beautiful. Ave Maria, The Lonesome Sailor, uh, The Three Bells. Uh, whirlwinds, really fun stuff. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Trish, when you were looking at uh, the Antique Center over there. That was very, very fun. So, a couple other things in my travels. I got this great uh, Zombie Outbreak Response Team emblem for my Jeepster. That is so fun. My Jeep is a little um, horror, uh, little horror vehicle. I like. I have some uh, zombies in the windows, in the back windows, and uh, I thought this would be great on there. Really, really fun. Um, something from uh, Wish.com. Uh, this is uh, specifically for. Carm's benefit this because I know he loves oddball flutes and wind instruments. This is wish.com. Got this beautiful little flute. Look at the, the case that it comes in. Isn't that fabulous? And then you open it up and there's this beautiful exotic Asian flute in there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And it's got a uh, one of those knots those Asian knots for deck decoration and it's just so pretty it's really it's kind of a decorative flute I mean but it's so beautiful look at that isn't that pretty and the fact that it comes in its own case is really fun and it keeps it safe in transit because uh, all the stuff from wish.com comes from um, Asia somewhere in you know with the Orient so that was really cool. So thrift scores. Um, the regular thrift in town uh, a couple days ago, I found this old loom. I found an old loom. And what I did with this, I needed something like this. I was going to build one, but I don't have to because I found this. Uh, I put a bungee here and I have these clips up here. And this, what I've made this into is a dread loom. So uh, these dreads that I make here, these clip-on dreads, um, 
this loom will make it very, very easy to do. I just need some tension clamps to hold it down on the table. But the uh, the piece of Kanekalon uh, would go around here. You clamp the excess hair out of the way and you'd make the one side of the dress and you turn it around and do it on uh, the same thing on the other side. So this is really, really fun. It was such an easy and quick way to um, you know, come up with a, a loom for the dreads, for making the dreads. So I was happy. Uh, let's see, everything else I think was more recent. We have uh, one LP, how to communicate your ideas. How fun is that? You know, I love this stuff for the opening of podcasts. And uh, it has things like, now hear this. You can make the boss listen, how to say no when you have to, how to say a few words. Really fun. It can be great for opening podcasts. Very, very fun. Um, the Patterson Thrift, I found some really fun things. Uh, the Hawthorne Thrift, I found this, another beautiful flute. Look at this, Carm. Isn't that amazing? This is so beautiful. This is made by, uh, what the heck? I can't read it. It looks like it says black, but can you see the, uh, the word over here? It has some kind of a brand right here, and it's really a beautiful thing. Look at that. I just love it. And that uh, what else did I find there I found I found this little elven guy isn't he the cutest he's an Anna Lee she makes the greatest faces and he is a little elf he's got tail a tail coat on and he's sitting right there inside the horn isn't that sweet I also remember on Dr. Seuss's birthday we read the cat in the hat and uh, I found finger puppets, cat in the hat finger puppets. I found thing one and thing two. We remember from our story how fun. We found uh, the fish in the pot, <laughs> all relating to the story, so fun. And of course, the cat in the hat. These are all beautiful little finger puppets. You know, I'm a puppet freak. I love my puppets. And these are so sweet fish in the pot. <laughs> thing one and thing two. So fun. They, they were still in their Dr. Seuss box too. Isn't that weird? It's the Dr. Seuss hat in one thrift. These Dr. Seuss things in the other thrift. That was pretty cool. Uh, I also found another uh, operation because there's, I like the one era. I mean, um, I like the earlier era the more modern one looks totally different so I like to paint I like to do uh, the artwork on the older one the 60s one doesn't show up anymore that's the one where the doctor on the box was actually smoking <laughs> that is a sign of the times right that that there would never be a box like that again um, the one I had I guess like the the other one uh, came out I guess in the 70s maybe 80s and then there's a more modern one from the 90s. So I like that middle one there. Because the the person on the uh, operation board is the same as the old one. Just the box is different. Um, then I went to the Patterson. The Big Thrift and Patterson Red, White, and Blue. And I found this beautiful, beautiful little uh, religious statue. I love these things. I always collect them when I see them. It's really a beautiful one. She is Our Lady of San Juan de Lagos in Mexico. So she had a prayer card, beautiful prayer card. So it was her and her prayer card in a box, still in a beautiful box. I love it. Very Italian, even though it's Mexican, you know what I mean? <laughs> this reminds me of my grandmother. All right, um, and these, I found these in the Patterson Thrift. These are so beautiful. All right, Easter has passed, but these are just, these I just could not pass up. These are made by an artist. They're 
signed a limited edition by what's her name? Uh, Michelle Rome from Etsy. And what they are are beautiful bunnies, um, paper mache bunnies that were pressed from antique chocolate molds. And they're just so beautiful. I just can't believe that they're that they were in a thrift. Uh, limited edition by Michelle Rome. Uh, Michelle Rome. This is bunny number two. They're signed on the bottom. This is number one of one hundred. One, very beautiful. And this one here, uh, it says boy girl Rome. Very beautiful. I would say this is definitely a girl. Handmade by Michelle Rome. See me on Etsy. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, you can recognize the old um, molds. And uh, they're painted so beautifully. I don't know if that shows up. Uh, actually, this one isn't tried shut, so I'll show you. I thought these are so beautiful. Look at that. Look at him. They're so gorgeous. The tag that ties the bag shut. This is limited edition. Michelle Rome. Little bunny on the label. They're so beautiful and I've always loved the old chocolate molds. The Christmas ones, the Easter ones. These are just, uh, the way they're painted. Just amazing. Oh my goodness. And all three of those were together in a big bag for $5.95 and I guarantee she was selling them for a lot more on Etsy. They had a bag of little ones too, but these were just beautiful. Look at the eye on that one. It's just so, I don't know if you can see it because of the cellophane, but it's so pretty. Oh, they're just amazing. And they have little cotton tail. One of them has a little cotton tail too. Oh, what an exciting thing. <laughs> they're so beautiful. So it's a week after Easter. That's all right. I'm trying to figure out what the name of this this is. I'd have to look it up. Looks like it says black. But it's really something, isn't it? What a cool thing. Really beautiful flute. And it looks like an Andean flute. Very nice. So that was the thrift stuff. Record store day was so fun. And uh, after I got my record store day stuff and came back and did that video, I ran to the thrift and uh, just, just to see what they had. And I found some fun stuff. Well, the loom was uh, during the week. I got that during the week. So anyway, I hope you're having a magical, mystical musical record store day. I will talk to you very, very soon. I love you all. Bye.